So, hello and welcome back to another episode of mm, Crusader Kings 2. Of course, playing as someone like Gana Petit Deva. Perfect. Or something like that. And we're currently waiting for another opportunity to strike at the Holy Roman Empire. Truces and defensive pacts are, of course, obstructing me a little bit. But only a minor stop, I would say. Oh, we need to quickly. So, that we can click on things. Alrighty, but yeah, we might get an opportunity here because uh, As this game works if you reload a game people are just randomly joining and Leaving defensive pacts uh, And I'm curious if you're gonna do something Come on. Come on. You don't want to be in this, this pact. No, but it doesn't look like he's gonna do anything. A shame. We still have to struggle around here for the next holy war. Yeah. Yep, yep. God damn it, you bastard. I'll get I'll get my attack. I'll get my attack. I mean something else that we that we are I think we are currently trying somewhat. Uh, this is a little bit. This is a little bit. Whoa. Hmm. That is a chunky amount of money. Holy shit. Nah, we're gonna give this a try. Let's see if that works. Erudite is completely fine. Let's keep this guy active. I just wanted to see that. And strike at him if possible. I mean we don't do much else at the moment really to then then wait. Okay. We're not revealed at least. I mean the main problem is that he also is currently well. Good, now things are revealed. But how much does he care about it? Currently we're just trying to strike at you as soon as possible. I mean you're 72 years old, you might die soon. L now you're also stressed. I don't think that you're gonna st stick around for too long. And if he gets... Uh, and his, You have to strike this air as soon as possible before he joins the offensive pact. Clearly, I mean that's uh, an opportunity, uh, a way to do things, right? There we go, a little bit of technology. Why not? But I heard that the watch ruler never dies, so I guess we'll wait then. God damn it! I just want to kill people, really. I want to get rid of them. There's nothing here. Nope. Only the last thing, of course, needs upgrades. That is also not too far from finishing. Right. You do that. Who the hell are you? Wait. Your theology. A theocracy. I mean. When did that happen? I mean, cool, I guess. Good for you guys. <coughs> I mean, it seems like my constant conquests in, uh, in this area have caused a little bit of a mess in the Holy Roman Empire. Just a tiny bit of a mess. Nothing major. <laughs> what they've been constantly going down in the, uh, uh, for a while. There we go. So, Prophet Mary. Jesus Christ! Oh, you're a genius. But well, we didn't have much to choose from anyway, so 
Let's just take someone here. I don't really care. Is this guy struggling with rebellion? No. He's not. But look at him getting strong. I like it. Just get your troops together. Then you can strike at the Pope. I believe in you. I believe in you a lot. Also, it seems like our university is getting finished soon enough. It's, I mean, come on. These guys also have a revolt. <coughs> uh, it's all a tad bit messy. Also, this guy has done a very great job at uh, kind of spreading out, wouldn't you say? Like, uh, he only had that. Or I, I only gave him that and he has dug fairly into uh, Africa. Very impressive. Maybe he leaves at some point around here. Would also, of course, be fantastic. Uh, Hospital-wise, we are kind of settled, right? We have done... Yep, this is completely upgraded. You guys don't have anything? Nope. Okay then, money just rises. At least we can get we can spend it on the great works. Oh, peasant revolt. What are you doing? Ah, oh, there you go. But sad enough, no. Oh no, you're not doing any decent war. Why are you moving troops around? Just because of rebellions, it seems. Hmm. Alright. Uh, you? No, I don't think there's actually that much new stuff here. Nope. Then just marry something. Don't really care. And you as well. Uh, no, not that. That. He's also currently... Oh no, he's no longer in hiding, so we might have a chance to kill him. How many percent? We have a lot of percent <laughs> to get him killed. Come on. It's only a matter of time until he drops. The elephants are ready. They want to march a little bit more. They've already they've already tasted the Alps. They want more. They want to move about here. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. At least that one. Catalan invasion. There we go. So you are currently not in a defensive pact. So immediately strike at you. Tuscany is yeah, definitely what we want. Oh. Have some troops around here. Very interesting. You guys just siege that. I'm questioning if I should just. I'm, I don't think I should call my own troops. I could just call vassal troops, and that's enough. Like, look at this. This guy's forty thousand. That should be enough. His boats are still on the wrong side. Yeah, he has a lot of them. I'll, I'll give him that, but as long as they're on the wrong side. Eh. So, where is my double fish guy? There he is. You have boats. So. You guys split up and please don't meld, your, meld each other that easily. Uh, hey! Not a single tick. Not a single tick. Look at that. So you quickly solve your problem. Ah, well, that we don't need to assault that. No need to rush here. These guys are not doing too fine anyway. So. And I guess we're gonna use the same technique on the Pope then. <laughs> of just waiting until he, uh... No longer ha- uh, until he dies and there's a new Pope and then we then we strike. I guess we could stand here. 
Lovely. You've done that. You are finished. University, then you immediately upgrade further. And let's see. We're gonna start with stewardship. And then go go through all of these bonuses. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, you can marry. I'm running out of things to uh, give you guys. It's a little bit of a shame. And there we go, the Pope moving about. I mean, we still have this here, this to conquer here, because it technically is part of the route, right? Is it? It is! It definitely is. Alright. Let's wait for the Pope man to move, so we don't immediately fight against a big army. That's no need for that. See, he's also <coughs> willingly moving fairly far. While we just then drop here. Make landfall. Bloop. You're dead. And then you see something. Also, you can now get these guys. And because the, the man is currently at war, there is a fairly high chance that he's just gonna say, you know what, nah, let's not do a war. Oh, Spymaster. Oh, still something in the Roma. Oh, we cannot assault that one. But yeah. I mean, technically I could assault all of these places fairly quickly, but I feel no need to do that. Into the boat as well. So, do some fun. I mean, as long as they're not castles, they are getting siege down fairly quickly anyway. So that's alright. Uh, nope. <coughs> We're just making money from snooping around here. I love it. Uh, you come out. I guess you can stand here. Ooh, that is a questionable route you're taking here. Please go this way. So... Boat we can uh, remove. Don't need that. Don't need that at all. So, cost just costs money, don't like that. Uh, you do something. There we go, look at that. The percentage is going up. Oh, there was a fight. Great! So, next place. Yeah, we're at, 20, we're at 76%. And the fun thing is these guys are not really siege anything back. I'm not sure if they don't trust themselves to siege anything back, or if they're not ju just don't feel like it. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Everyone is in place. We're at 99%. There we go. Except... You guys come, come back here. Do we own Tuscan uh, or can we create or usurp? Nope, because we're at war. Well, then we need to do it, of course. That way, you have <coughs> Luca. That's not Luca. I mean, at this point, things are actually fairly easy to uh, see which are the ones around here and, w and that don't belong to me. Don't own a lot of Italian area, do I? So. Oh, but Sienna was chunky. You guys can go back home. Lovely. So. Now. Now we, we kind of settled with the whole empire, right? There's nothing else we need to conquer from them, really. So now we need to focus on this man. And of course, he is part of the defensive pact, so... We're gonna mark you as a person of interest. Uh, why are you in person of interest? I guess because you were the technical heir of this man. Oh! 
Looky here. Seems like the struggle of the Holden Empire has led to some disgusting uh, groves <laughs> around. I mean, we, we could call France a dis disgusting grove. Oh, I completely forgot about this place. God damn it. If I do it that way, it takes forever. My brother's last stable upgrade. And the other stuff is doing alright. Uh, is one finished? That's not the right thing. Nah, six more months. Fountain of Youth also around. The years fall off me. Fantastico. Yeah, look, look at that. We, the conquest snake is pu pushing forward. I still need a minor conquest on you, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy. I also spend this money because currently there's not really any expanding going on. Fuck. So you. We're kind of pulling every single uh, thingy around here. Every little girl that has some kind of trait is getting <laughs> gobbled up. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. We're just dealing with that. God damn it. So let's hope our Disease resistance hol uh, holds back at home. I wish I just have my eyes on uh, kind of I Italy right now. Because that's what we need to conquer. Wait, I can take a look here. How many people are willing to kill you? Nobody. Nobody really. Wait, I can create a kingdom of Italy? That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> but they can empire as well. But like I said, the only empire we're gonna create when we have the when we get the opportunity is the Empire of India. But that still needs that little conquest here. Oh look, these guys also split up from the uh, from the dudes. The Mongols are still around, but they are under the belt of the Chinese, of course. Oh, there we go. Technology. Castle infrastructure or k improved keeps? I think castle infrastructure will do the trick. That also means more buildings. 140, 140. Gives a bunch of archers and light infantry. We do have a lot of archers, to be honest. We do have a lot of archers. <coughs> in our army. Especially now, also with the elephant crew. I guess that's the official name now. 25,000. Alone from that. Here's certainly a number. Careful not to knock everything over. So, the next thing on the list here. There we go, plus one stewardship. Fantastic. Look at these number increases. Should say here. Yep, yeah, wing of finance. A whooping five instead of four. We are going up. Right up there. Only the sky is the limit. 
You're still struggling with your revolts here? Or you are a part of that? You know what? Do that. Show all owe you a favor. Because this guy is struggling well enough. He's losing, I think, most of these. I mean, they don't really seem that crazy now. And you have, you, have, you have enough. I don't have to help you every time. That's 13,000 this guy has. Well, you also, Peace of Valencia. There you go, have some money. And get thrown into prison. Come on, mate. So. But you're still in a... God damn it. Did this guy just stay in that? I, I guess it will be a lot easier with uh, something like... You still have a person of interest? Yeah, you're actually that guy. God damn it, that makes it a, little, a lot more difficult if you, if you do not switch out. But maybe, maybe it doesn't matter that much. If we just have to fight against uh, Christian. Of pacts and only by not with 95. Also at 75. With over 75, all defensive pacts, including that of your own religious group. Okay, yeah. It's even over 50% that they already band together to fight you. God damn it. Why are you making my conquest so difficult, you people? And that's a hilarious amount of people after all. Look at that. I mean there's also the question, if if we start that Are they gonna because we do have to win a major fight, right? That's usually the thing that we have to do in these wars. At least, or because we didn't have to do that against the Holy Roman Empire, because they usually gave up fairly quickly. And we are at 99%. Well, I'm wondering if I should just give it a try. On my own. To just beat, them up, beat someone else up. And you have quite the financial stability, I'll give you that. I mean, we could give it one. test you're still in that group at least you guys are dying out basically <laughs> a little bit harsh but you're dying out so so damn it I miss clicking here like crazy but I could give it a try and one thing that I want to do before that is uh, spend the money again on all the upgrades because I don't want to lose too much money. After all, they just take everything. And I guess the game <laughs> says, "Oh, money! I had money, 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 money." <laughs> God damn it! Should I go crazy? I mean, I can lose that. The sieges around are gonna be fairly devastating. Like the whole territory around here. Also will do some stuff. The question is how many people mobilize ag and against me. And to be honest, it's AI. They're probably uh, gonna all gonna go for the player. Because they don't have, don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I guess 
one of the main reasons why you are still in a defensive pact against me, even after s uh, switching out, is that with the whole Roman Empire you have that uh, completely new uh, dynasty and kingdom is gonna take over. And that doesn't seem to be the case around here, because it's a Pope. After all. So, you increase the number here as well. Look at those numbers. That's something else. There we go, some screaming arrows. You also nearly finished. Oh, God damn it. Ah. I do have a little bit of a headache currently. So I excuse my lack of concentration. Ooh. Maybe that is just the kind of thing I need to make weird decisions. Could also look for another st or another thing here. I mean, there is nothing really that I want to immediately build. I guess technically I could throw in another grand university for more stats, just to see if it stacks. I mean, you know what? Sure. Let's do it. I'm all right with that. God damn it, one where in the two? Maybe I'm just misreading. How old am I? Forty-seven. Our son is thirty-five. <laughs> ah, still amazing. <coughs> Alright, we'll wait for two thousand at least. After all that is a good enough number. Then we'll strike at a portman. Actually, for that one specifically, I would ship you guys over. So we really have something to siege. Ah oh, no. Here. And let's not forget this place. Yeah, you still have that. Do you have an extra timing? Do you have like, any kind of penalty that stuff takes longer with you? Because it feels like it currently. Oh, that just disappeared. Sure. <coughs> so. Of course we do, I mean, technically we could try to completely cover the Pope man. But to be honest, looking at the size of him, that is gonna take a while. And gonna be very difficult. But... I think the world at some point needs yeah this is this is this throws in everybody. Ah uh, everyone will join that war. Well I guess we're gonna see next episode how this works out. Or if I even do it. So until then, uh, that's that will be it for this episode. See you guys next episode. Bye!